Hi there guys, welcome back to the Tower Tech. We're going to be back out with the drone today looking at the point of interest feature that lets you do 360 degree rotations round objects. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied Just got to the woods, it's a little bit windy So apologies for the roar in the background we can go for a little walk and try and find the right spot to do the, the 360 degree Just going to do a quick calibration and then we'll do the I've done the calibration, ready to get the aircraft taken off and then we can, uh, we can have a play with the 360. Got the drone in position, I'm gonna take her up higher, lock on to the target, pan around. So you can see here us switching on the point of interest function within the Phantom 4. Essentially what it does is lock on to some coordinates. Once you apply this and you pull back on the stick, as you move away you create an arc, a radius that the Phantom 4 is going to rotate around. Minimum radius is 5 meters, you can see us here out at 29 meters, hit apply speed on a slider moving out to two meters per second and off she goes why the transmitted image on the iPad is glitching so badly. It's certainly got worse since a patch. I'm going to do an investigation and I'm going to provide the fix in one of my later videos. tiny piece of plastic has popped off of it and I'm pretty sure that was there when we started this okay so I'll have to uh, 
I'll have to get that repaired. I don't think that's a particular drama. You can probably tell by the roar of the wind in the background, it really is pretty, pretty windy up here. I did actually consider abandoning the flight completely at one point. I was watching the drone, I had it hovering at pretty low altitude, just watching how it was coping with the wind, taking it up a little bit higher, seeing how it was coping, and, 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 and. Um, the wind died down a little bit, so we did go for it. And I have to say, given that it was windy, given what we were asking this thing to do, and if you think about how difficult that manoeuvre would be to do manually with the sticks, that's, that's, that's a pretty neat trick to pull off. So um, the fact that this has managed to do this in this sort of wind, that kind of smoothness, I think is really testament to what a fantastic product the Phantom 4 really is. Now that I've got home, I've checked a couple of things. I've been on some forums about the little bit of plastic that popped off the landing gear on the Phantom. Uh, what I've found is that those parts are available. I've been on Amazon. I've managed to find a whole landing gear assembly, so I'm going to attempt the repair myself. Of course, I'll do a video on that, so do check that out. If we just zoom in, you should be able to see. The other thing that I've managed to find in the forums is the issue around the glitching on the iPad screen. Again, there's loads of people that have been having problems with that. It does look like it's related to a patch. It looks like it's to do with the version of the DJI software that you're running on your iPad and the uh, firmware version that you've got on the Phantom itself. So again, I will do a video on that. To make sure that you don't miss out on those videos, please do subscribe, which you can do by hitting the button there. And if you like this video, then please give it a like. It really does help the channel out. I'll see you in the next video.